guys, so today's video is going to be a get ready with me and the very first thing that I love doing before I go out is use a sheet mask. So these are from Biobel. You can get them at Ulta and I will link it right down below for you guys. This is called the Diary of Beauty Secrets. It actually has six different sheet masks in here to choose from. My current favorite is the one that has blueberries and yogurt in it. And by the way, this packaging is so adorable. And that one is called After Party. It helps to soothe and brighten the skin. All of the sheet masks from Biobel are really cool because they actually have a tensile technology that helps the nutrients and antioxidants in the sheet masks absorb faster and quicker into your skin. Start applying it on the outer edges of your face and smoothing it down. And then you can work your way inwards and give your face a nice massage. Biobel actually formulates these paraben-free, gluten-free, and with no GMOs. So easy to get as well. I mean, Ulta sells them right there for you. It doesn't take a lot of time for them to soak in either. I just do about 15 minutes and then just take it off and wash my face. I think these are so amazing and I use them about three times a week. I won't lie, I'm like addicted. But I definitely have noticed that my skin texture looks better. Like brighter ever since I started using these. Minus the freckles for my vacation, those totally don't count. <laughs> okay, so now my face is completely prepped and ready for my makeup. I start with my eyebrows and use Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number four to fill in any sparse hairs. And then I go in with Cabrow to fill in the outer edges and define them more. And finally, a brown brow powder and my spoolie brush. So guys, I go absolutely crazy over smudged eyeliner, like I literally can't handle it. So to prevent that, I pat two layers of powder onto my lids. This first one is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Perfecting Powder. I like to use the Tweezer Man Blender Brush for this because as you can see, it's huge and covers a lot of lid space. The second powder I use is from the Kat Von D Shade & Light Palette, the middle, more yellowy, very bright shade. I put that on right over top. I use Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. Not only is this waterproof, so it's not going to budge, but it has a super dark formula that I love, especially when I'm not using any eyeshadows like today. It's got this thin marker-like tip that makes it so easy to use, guys, to get that perfect, bold, dramatic, winged eyeliner. So I'm always going back to this one. Don't look up until it's dry. <laughs> I like to apply my false eyelashes. These are Kiss number three. You can just get these at Amazon in like a big three pack. I love them because they have a super thin band. So I can just pop these babies right on. I use my tweezers and do a lash adhesive. And to blend my natural lashes in with the falsies, I'm using Tarte Tardiest Mascara. That's it for the eyes. Very, very simple. If you have dry skin, you have to try this. You basically squirt the e.l.f. illuminating mist and set onto your fingertips first, and then just kind of pat it and massage it onto your skin. And what this is gonna do is add that extra layer of moisture so that it makes your foundation so much easier to blend out. I used the Makeup Forever, the new formula foundation, um, and I applied this mainly to the outer corners of my face. The Sedona Lace Flat Top Kabuki Brush is absolutely perfect for blending out more liquidy type foundations like this. I'm only using this on the outer corners of my face because I want to create a warm, very subtle contour. Then I'm going in with Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in cream, which is lighter, probably by about one or two shades. So I'm lightly and carefully blending this in the center of my face, my chin, bridge of the nose, under the eye area, and the middle of the forehead. I had to add a little more brightness, so can you guess it? Yep, I used my Ofra Dermatones Concealer Wheel for this. I always pick up the center shade, which is the brightest, and then one of the yellowy shades on the outer edges, I blend those two together. And with my middle finger, I just gently pat this on the sides of my nose to get rid of any shadows, the inner corner of my eye, and all the way out to the end of my eye, and also around the nose too. And then I'll go in with a beauty blender sponge to pat this all in. I love using this because I find it really does mattify things down. It is the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Two places for this, under the eye area for setting the concealer, and on the lower half of the face to create a stronger looking cheekbone. So I go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, that middle shade, and my Benefit Hula Brush, 
working this on those cheekbones and also on the outer edges of my forehead just to warm things up and I also go in with that really dark shade from the palette and I work this under my chin and jawline area to create a nice shadow there going back into that very light shade and just popping this right in those inner corners just for some extra brightness for my blush today, I use Makeup Geek Infatuation. I think I've used this a million times as well on my channel, but it's just really good. It's that soft, beautiful like pinch of color to the cheeks. And then I go in with my It Cosmetics uh, CC Plus Powder and a big fluffy brush from Real Techniques and just blend, 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 blend everything in. Max Soft and Gentle Highlight and a little bit of brown eyeshadow on my lower lash line. For my lips today, I used Underground from Gerard Cosmetics and lined the outer edges and the inner part of my lip. I always recommend to you guys to line your lips first with a lip pencil because it helps the liquid lipsticks to last so much longer. And then I went in with Share by Accident. This is also from Gerard Cosmetics, the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This one's really purpley. I love using this one, but this was not what I was supposed to use for this look. I totally forgot. What you want to use is Iced Mocha because it's slightly more brown. And it's a dupe, in my opinion, to the Kylie Cosmetics Dolce Liquid Lipstick. Very similar in color, but I think the formula is better. <laughs> So for my hair, I just blow dried out my ends because they were just a little bit curly from sleeping on them. And I'm going to clip in my hair extensions. These are from Lexi Hair. I do have a link down below for you guys with a coupon code if you are interested in these. These are the Ombre Chestnut in 220 grams. This set is the biggest set on the website and I love using these because they're so full and it just helps to give me length and volume to my hair. All I do is just split my hair in half and clip these babies in. I let down that first layer, blend everything in with my brush. That's from uh, Bellamy, by the way. It's just like a nice brush to brush out the extensions. It's specifically for extensions, which is why I love using it. And the curling wand I'm using today is the five in one from New Me. So this one has five different clips on, or different barrels that you can clip onto it. I believe the one I'm using is like one inch or a little bit smaller than one inch. I'm just randomly picking sections from my hair, curling them around the wand. Like the top section, I mainly curl away from my face hold it there for about 8 to 10 seconds and then I put it in my hand, hold it again for like maybe 4 seconds and let it go. And then as I get down to the bottom section of hair, I switch in between curling towards my face and away from my face just so that everything doesn't clump together. I don't use hairspray, I don't use any product in my hair to keep the curls there. They actually do a pretty good job of staying there throughout the day. Um, the only thing I would recommend for you guys is to use a heat styling spray before you use heat on your hair just so that it protects it and you're not damaging the hair. Since I take such huge sections and wrap them around the barrel, it ends up looking very wavy and loose. Honestly, this whole entire hair routine only takes me like five minutes. Not bad. I wait like one or two minutes for my hair to cool, and then I use my brush to smooth out certain curls. Some curls I leave a little bit more defined, others I'll smooth them out so they look bigger, and I'll use my fingers to kind of fluff everything up. I have no idea why I keep doing this, but I love having the majority of my hair on one side and then just like a little bit of hair in the back. <laughs> anyway guys, that's it for my get ready with me. If you liked this or found it helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.